All right, this is second grade, topic four, our math fluency activity. So this is something you can do at home if you'd like to with a partner. You'll be one partner and someone else will be a partner. You're gonna get a paper and pencil. Each partner chooses a different color. So you can either be light blue or dark blue. Partner one and two each point to a black number at the same time. So if you're partner one, you might point to seven. Partner two might point to five, okay? So you'll just go up and down randomly picking numbers on the side. And then both partners add those numbers. So six plus seven, six plus seven I know is 16. 16 is light blue. So what you do is if you're a light blue partner, you put a tally mark here. If it lands on your number and it's a dark blue, you can put a tally mark over here. So, or you can play it by yourself. You can just be one partner and you can go through and pick out the numbers, cross them out, and then try to add them together. So that's just a fun little activity to do. I know when you're doing school remotely from home, it can be harder to do that. It's easier to do that in the class with a partner. But let's go on to the back page. This is our vocabulary review. This is our word list, compatible numbers, ones, partial sum, regroup, sum, and tens. So we're gonna take a look at understanding our vocabulary. Use the problem at the right. So we're gonna use 68 plus 19. Write partial sum or sum for each. So 70 is a what? Well, 70 is a partial sum because it's just the tens. So we're gonna write partial sum because that's just part of it, okay? 17 is also a partial sum because that is just what the ones add together. So we're also gonna write partial sum. But 87 is the total sum, right? So we're gonna write sum for that one. Okay, number four, use the ones column in the problem at the right. The ones column is all written in red. Which compatible numbers can you add to make a 10? And write two different equations. So let's see, to make a 10, I can do, oh, look at this. Right here, those are two compatible numbers. Four plus six equals 10. And take a look at this. Eight plus two also equals 10. Eight plus two equals 10. Now, does it tell us to solve the equation? Nope, it's just having us look for ways that we can make 10. Numbers that are compatible, we can put together into groups of 10. All right, number five, vocabulary in writing. Solve the addition problem, so we need to solve it first. Tell how you solved it, use terms from our word list, okay? So let's see, seven plus five is 12, a two in the ones place, I'm gonna regroup one group of 10. 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6, so I get a sum of 62. So let's see, I'm going to use 1's regroup and sum, okay? I'm going to say I added the 1's. I added the 1's, and then I regrouped, and then... I regrouped, it's a D, and added to find the sum. And added to find the sum, period. All right, that was pretty easy peasy. Great job, everybody.